the device that you would like to use should of course be safe and efficient. It should be easy to use, it shouldn't take too many uh, complicated steps so that uh, also people who are not so experienced can use it with safety. Uh, I think that speaking of safety, I think it, it has to do with uh, of course not harming the vessel in which you are working but also being constructed in a way so that you can prohibit uh, the most common complications. And I think the most common complications relate to the fact that most thrombi that we retrieve are, are very uh, red and very fragile. So it means that it's very important that the device helps you to prevent distal emboli, that you lose part of the thrombus that you're trying to retrieve. So that's also a safety issue. And then, of course, efficiency. It has to be possible to retrieve the clot within one or two passes. Uh, the more time you spend, the, the less chance you will have to, uh, to retrieve the clot. Uh, you start to get stressed. The clot gets uh, more sticky because of more friction. And the end result will not be so good. So the first time, Perhaps the second time is the best. We have been using the EmboTrap device ever since 2012. We were approached by uh, the Nuravi company to help them uh, refine the prototype that they already have had. So we, uh, we started uh, in the animal lab to work with them, together with them. Then we did the first in man study. And ever since it has been our uh, number one uh, choice of, of retriever. Because we think it fulfills most of the demand that we, that we like to see. That being said, of course, it's not the end of the story. The clot is the enemy. I mean, and that, knowing the enemy is the, the first step of, uh, of being able to, to conquer. So uh, I think what impressed us the most when, uh, when uh, they approached us and asked for a collaboration was the fact that they had done their homework. We were quite impressed that they had developed different types of clots and tested different prototypes on different clots to try to find out which one worked for most of the clots. And uh, we had never seen that in any other company, this kind of scientific approach. And I think that's, that's really important because if you know the constitution of the clot, what it's mainly made of, how it reacts to different uh, types of manipulation, of course you have a better uh, possibility to, to, re to uh, be successful. Of course we need even better devices in the future and I'm sure it will, it will come. I think we have to elevate the bar a bit. We have to be able to retrieve the clot with one pass, maybe with two passes. Uh, we need to achieve a f full or almost full recanalization. We couldn't just stay with 50% recanalization. We have to be, we have to push the limits. Also when it comes to uh, clinical uh, results that we shouldn't look at patients that are independent. We should look at patients that are almost back to normal, back to work, back to full functioning. And that of course has uh, put, puts demands on the companies to, to really raise the bar and uh, do even better than today. I think we shouldn't be satisfied with what we are able to do today. We should raise the bar, we should try to be quicker, more efficient, meaning better reperfusion, which will translate, obviously, in a better patient outcome. Solid science, clinical experience, and uh, trying to be better.